All right, everyone, I'm staying at the Luxor Tower Hotel located right off the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, this is my first time staying in the tower. Just decided to go ahead and stay here because uh, the prices were really affordable. In fact, tonight, I believe my room was about 50 bucks. And then, of course, with the resort fee, so we're at about $98 uh, dollars here. And uh, it's not too bad. Had a long day. And as you can see, they got some vinyl or some ram wrap, uh, ceramic wrap here on the outside of the tower. Uh, this keeps the room cool. But what's interesting is as soon as I got off the uh, the uh, elevator, I had to make a right, come straight through here to the room. It wasn't even a hallway. It was like just three rooms right there. So kind of strange. But um, I have a long, busy night. Just wanted to give a quick tour of the hotel. You can see. Now, you guys can see it here on the camera. But from my visibility right now, it's kind of poor uh, with this vinyl wrap here. But as you can see, I got a nice view of the backlight parking lot we have the stadium for the raiders right over there we got the mandalay bay which is also connected to the hotel we got the pyramid we got the pool and this is uh the room this is pretty simple just straightforward i will say my internet reception in here is kind of slow kind of choppy coming up the elevator and whatnot but we have a tv we got some closet space Not too much to say about this hotel. And then the reason why I got this instead of the pyramid, because I don't like the window slanted. And there was some additional square footage. Plus, there's a bathtub in here as well as a shower. Uh, the tower or the pyramid only has a shower. It doesn't have a bathtub. So I figured I'd just take advantage of the space and say, you know, you know whatnot. It was only $10 more than staying at the tower, uh, than staying over at the pyramid. But uh, this is a nice, clean room. I mean, especially for, you know, 90 bucks. Uh, a lot of the hotels right now are cheap in Vegas, especially staying on the Strip. A hotel like this in Excalibur, for example, uh, would run you normally 127 several years ago. Just to lay it at your head. But for 50 bucks, I mean, it's right around the corner from a lot of things that I need to do. So uh, let's check out the restroom really quickly. All right, we got our sink. We got our shower, decent shower head. And then of course we have our bathtub. So nothing too fancy. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around tour of the uh, room that I am staying in tonight. And uh, let me know what you think. It's a cool place to stay. And again, I was actually one of the first people to see the Luxor Hotel back in the day when they had the Nile River inside. In fact, they used to escort you and your luggage to your rooms with the Nile River. Uh, there's probably like one or two videos on YouTube with it, but I happened to see it because back in the day, my parents would tell me to stay in the car when they would check into the hotel. And you know, this one time I just didn't listen because this hotel was just built. And I walked inside and I had a chance to see it. And that was the only time I had a chance to see it. Uh, my parents didn't get the room because they thought the room uh, room rates were um, too expensive at the time or whatever. But I'm glad, you know, I walked in, stuck my head through the door, had a chance to see that Nile River. It was an amazing sight to see uh, at that time here in the Luxor. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye. All right, so I was just double checking my room. So there was two bars of soaps in here. Um, again, this is the Luxor on the Las Vegas Strip in the uh, West Tower. And the packaging on the outside of the bar of soap had hair on it, I had to blow it off. And then I took a shower and then there was a long strand of hair on the floor in the shower. So I can see why these places now are only like 50 bucks a night, whatever the case might be. Um, they aren't spending a lot of time on upkeep. So, you know, I guess they're just saying, well, screw it. If somebody complains, you know, we'll clean the room, just do whatever, and we'll charge the lowest price possible. But a lot of these hotels like the Luxor and, you know, many other hotels, uh, they're not fully staffing the hotels to clean every night and do what they need to. They're just, I guess, waiting for somebody to complain or hope somebody doesn't see it and go from there. So that's why you have smaller hotels like the new one that they just built uh, not too far down from the strip, that little motel that was just renovated. I guess that's why they, uh, you know, they have high ratings with breakfast in bed because of things like this. So just thought I'd add this on to the rest of the video. You guys have a good night.
All right, so I wanted to add this on uh, from me checking out of the Luxor Hotel. I stayed here for one night. And so um, as I stayed here, uh, the one day I did, well, the first night actually when I checked in, uh, nobody gave me any instructions on how to exit the parking lot. I did the self-check-in feature. I was pulled out of the line. Somebody asked me if I wanted to go ahead and do that instead of waiting in line. I said, sure. So you have to create your own key. It sends you a text message. A verification code and then of course you create your own key however I was never told at any point in time that I had to use the room key in order to exit the parking lot because my parking of $18 a night was automatically included so I paid for parking separately it took me a little while to figure out and get out because I was like well I just pulled a ticket but then it charged me I ended up paying $15 on my credit card the following day I went downstairs they corrected the issue for me what they did was they credited $18 to my account to offset the issue of me having to pay uh, for the parking so they did refund it but again nobody told me that uh, I had to exit or use the room key in order to do that now the ironic thing is the day that I was checking out of the hotel um, I right, tried I to use gonna the take room an key they to did told me floor. that it would work even after I checked out it still didn't work so I had to use the emergency line hit the button in order for them to let me out because the room key still wouldn't work um, but aside from that, you know, I noticed uh, from staying here at the hotel, remember this used to be easily $200 a night, one of their other uh, higher end keeper hotels. And keep in mind, uh, the Luxor Hotel is the fifth largest hotel in the world. This is no, you know, uh, this is not a small rinky ding hotel. It used to have a lot of good upkeep. And so... Uh, they did uh, refund me, or uh, they did credit me $35 for uh, the disturbances that I did make as far as, or, uh, not the disturbances, but, you know, reporting that there was hair in the room and in the shower wasn't properly taken care of. So uh, they did refund all that, so I roughly ended up paying only like 58 bucks just to stay here. But as I said before, uh, you can tell that there are other hotels popping up on the Strip. I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, if you guys check Booking.com or some of the other reviews, uh, Circus Circus, Luxor, Excalibur. I mean, they're all okay, but think about it. Most of these rooms now are only $35 a night. You have these smaller hotels popping up, offering breakfast in bed, and their pr prices are roughly about the same as uh, some of these major hotels. So uh, Vegas is definitely changing. And I think what's happening is, uh, I, I noticed we, uh, we went to Lani. I'll upload those videos too. A lot of these hotels aren't fully staffing uh, housekeeping services what they'll do is they'll have some people up there or maybe on the floor only clean a room if it's needed really or bring you towels or bring you uh, <clears throat> clean bedding if it's needed and then if there's an issue reported then they'll really address it but uh, from a money standpoint they're probably thinking it's cheaper just to credit somebody as you know their room and uh, if they complain because you figure if you're paying somebody 15 or 20 dollars an hour uh, to clean a room and, you know, and then you got to pay a medical benefits and all that other kind of stuff that's actually more costly for them than just taking care of an issue on a you know situational basis you know rather than uh just paying somebody hourly every day uh to come clean it but anyway just wanted to make sure i add this last excerpt on here uh for you guys you know the room rates definitely reflect some of the service and um uh, Luxor is too bad. I know they do have room service and stuff up to uh, a certain point in time. But, you know, anyway, I just wanted to share everybody the true uh, authentic experience that I did have here. Uh, I did get everything taken care of, but uh, it, it wasn't exactly hassle-free, especially trying to exit the parking lot for something so simple. But anyway, adventurers, you guys take care. We'll catch you later.